Martinelli was rejected by two of the biggest clubs on the planet before he turned 18, but he never gave up and now he's one of Arsenal's best players. How did he go from being a futsal player in Brazil to breaking records at Arsenal set by one of their all-time greats? He was supposed to play a couple of seasons for the reserves, but he was fast-tracked to the first team after an incredible pre-season. He's not just impressed Arsenal fans though. Rival manager called him the talent of the century after he ran rings around his right back. This is the insane rise of Gabriel Martinelli. It might sound weird to some people that he didn't play football until he was 11. He was playing futsal instead. Of course, futsal is very similar to football. It's five a side played on an indoor court with a smaller ball, but there's much more focus on dribbling and short passes. A transition from futsal to football isn't as easy as you might think, but it's very common in Brazil to start with futsal. Neymar followed the same path before signing for Santos. Martinelli grew up in Sao Paulo, Brazil and joined the Corinthians futsal team when he was nine. He was signed by Ituano when he was 13, a side playing in the fourth division of Brazilian football. But he was quickly spotted by one of Man United's Brazilian scouts. He had four trials at United between 13 and 16. He met Pogba, Rooney and Ibra and it was his dream to sign for United when he turned 18. But his dream ended when he was 17 and was told he wasn't good enough to join the club. Fortunately, there was another club waiting to offer him a trial. Before we go on, it's rumoured that United have kicked themselves 10,000 times for letting Martinelli go and signing Sancho for 90 million instead. Well, I don't know about that, but I do know that I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers, so if you could like the video and subscribe, it'd really help me out. Thanks. So who else decided to look at Martinelli? Barcelona took the opportunity and invited him for a trial. He trained at La Masia for 15 days, but again he was told he wasn't good enough. Being rejected by two of the biggest clubs on the planet must have been a huge setback, but he was always optimistic and believed he could make it as a pro footballer. He went back to Ituano and played in the Copinha, Brazil's under-20 tournament. It's where Neymar and Endrick were first spotted. If you stand out in the Copinha, it can kickstart your career. And that's exactly what he did. He was the top scorer in the group stage and luckily for him, there was an Arsenal scout watching. There's no data about players from the fourth division of Brazilian football, so the scout had to rely on the eye test and only had a few games to go off. But in the summer of 2019, Arsenal paid £6 million for Martinelli. It was a huge risk to pay so much for a player they hadn't really seen. But as we're about to find out, £6 million ended up being an absolute steal. When he arrived at Arsenal, the plan was for him to play in the under-23s for a couple of seasons, but train with the first team. That plan went out the window when he was one of Arsenal's best players on the pre-season tour. He scored in his first game against Colorado Rapids and Unai Emery decided to keep him in the first team. At first, he was mainly used in the League Cup and Europa League, but he was getting some minutes in the Prem coming off the bench. His first start for the club came against Championship side Notts Forest in the League Cup. He got the Arsenal fans excited with a brace, but he was only just getting started. His second start was against Standard Liège in the Europa League. He scored another brace. Next start, a goal against Portuguese side Vitória. But his fourth start for Arsenal came against Liverpool in the exciting 5 all draw in the League Cup. He scored his third brace and after the game Jurgen Klopp called Martinelli the talent of the century. Although, to be fair, he had to say that because Martinelli had just spent 90 minutes making Alexander-Arnold look like a Sunday league right back. He'd scored seven goals and was the first player to score in his first four starts since Ian Wright. Breaking records set by Wrighty isn't a bad way to introduce yourself to the Arsenal fans. When Arteta replaced Emery, he kept his spot in the team, but unfortunately, a knee injury after the Covid restart sidelined him for the rest of the season. In the 1920 season, he played 26 games, scored 10 and assisted 4. He was showing that he could play both left wing and up front. It was an incredible first season for the 18-year-old considering he was supposed to be playing for the reserves. His knee injury kept him out of the first 11 games of the 2021 season and when he returned, he struggled to get back in the team. Arteta preferred a front three of Aubameyang, Lacazette and Pepe, but hey, maybe that's why they finished 8th that season. Saka, William and Smith-Rowe were all getting more minutes than Martinelli. 
He played 23 games, scored two and assisted two. Even though he only played three less games than last season, he played half the minutes. He was mainly coming off the bench. By next season, he'd completely recovered from his injury and was back to his best. He started to get more game time when their striker boarded a flight to Barcelona and never returned. Arteta was starting to favour youth and playing a 4-2-3-1 with Martinelli, Odegaard and Saka behind Lacazette. He played 36 games, scored 6 and assisted 7. Arsenal fell at the last hurdle and finished 5th. It was an improvement on last season but this team was only just getting started and next season was going to be even better. In the summer, he extended his contract to 2027. He said he believes this team has the potential to be the best and wants to win the Prem and Champions League at Arsenal. It might have been hard to believe then, but we're coming to the end of March and Arsenal have an 8-point lead over second place Man City. Martinelli's made the left wing position his own. He's managed to avoid injuries and featured in all but one of Arsenal's games so far this season. He's neck and neck with Saka as the club's top scorer and as we go into the final 10 league games, Arsenal are going to need these two at their best. It's no surprise that Martinelli has had such an insane start to his career. One of his coaches said he trains every day like it's his last day on earth. He's been working hard and believing in himself since the days of getting rejected by United and Barcelona and now he's been rewarded for the effort. He's played 38 games this season, scored 13 and assisted 3. It's worth remembering that he's still only 21. The ceiling for Martinelli and Saka is so high. Saka faced a huge setback in his career after he missed the last penalty in the Euros final, but he bounced back and had his best ever season. For the insane rise of Saka, click the video on screen.